Are you a freelance artist struggling with unpredictable income? Well, today I'm going to share a game-changing breakthrough that transformed my business just over six years ago. Here's the backstory. Back when I was dating Tara, who, spoiler alert, is now my wife, I had a lot of anxiety surrounding the future of my business. So as an artist, I was doing contract work and I didn't have that security of a consistent monthly paycheck. Now, while I was fine with it as a single guy, the thought of subjecting my future wife to those financial ups and downs, it, it just plagued me. So I started reading books and searching for answers, and I stumbled across the work of Mike Michalowicz and his book, Profit First. Here's the problem according to Mike. Sales minus expenses equals profit. Perhaps you use this formula yourself. This is how I grew my business. Sell as much as you can, incur expenses to support those sales, and then you have profit. There's this code that's seemingly built into all of our brains that we take our business income, subtract expenses, and then whatever's left is what we get to take home. And many of us justify a lot more expenses with good intentions, like the hopes of growing our business. There's a parallel here with Parkinson's law. Maybe you're familiar with it. Parkinson's law basically says that work expands to fill the available time. So if you have two weeks to get something done, yeah, how long does it take you? Well, it tends to take about two weeks. Whereas if you have two days to get something done, more often than not, it gets done within the available time. And our finances behave similarly. Without a better system, our expenses will just tend to expand and eat up just about everything. This introduces the concept of smaller plates. When money flows into our business, it can't just pile up into one big pile because it will vanish into our expenses. Mike calls his solution the profit first formula. It, it's a pretty simple idea. Income minus profit equals expenses. Now, mathematically, that may seem the same, but it fundamentally changes our behavior. Profit becomes a habit, a rhythm of our business. It's a predictable system. The number of small plates you have is up to you, but here's how I set things up. I have five major plates, operating expenses, taxes, owner's compensation, emergency savings, and profit. Now, don't take this list as gospel. You will need to customize it as every artist and business is different. But for the last six or so years, these are the plates that I've been using. In my business bank account, whenever I get paid, those funds go directly into account called income, which this income checking account is less of a plate and more of just a place to hold funds. Then once a month, or some people prefer twice a month, any funds in that checking account get divided into my smaller plates, which are their each own checking accounts. The money is divided into those accounts based on predetermined percentages. Now, these percentages uh, are gonna be different for every single business. I'll share my breakdown here, but please don't take this as a model for your situation. Everyone is different, and if you copy and paste these numbers, I can almost guarantee it's not going to work for you. Here's the breakdown. 67% goes into owner's compensation. So this is the account that will eventually make it into my family's household budget. This is money that I am making. 15% goes into operating expenses. So if I need a new hard drive or gear or subscription-based service like cloud storage, this is where it gets paid from. 16% goes into taxes, and this is not for my personal income tax, but rather for corporate taxes and payroll withholding. The remaining 2% is split between emergency savings and profit. Now, this profit account, this isn't for our household budget. It's more of a fun celebration or reward fund for celebrating the freedom and benefits of business ownership. With this structure in place, I can simply look back at the previous year's income run it through this formula and determine my consistent monthly paycheck because during high times, there will be a surplus in the owner's comp fund, but in slow times, we can eat up that surplus. Do you see how this helps fix the behavioral issue of using more than necessary expenses? Because if my OPEX checking starts to get low, well then I need to get creative. I won't start eating off of other plates and destroying my take home pay. Now, you might have that little voice in the back of your head that's starting to say, well, in theory, do you really need all of these different checking accounts? Couldn't you do this all in accounting software? And my answer to you is, well, if you're an accountant, go for it, knock yourself out. But that's not how most business owners instinctually work. If I wanna know how much money I have, 
I check my bank. So using multiple checking accounts is far more intuitive and transparent. I highly recommend reading Mike's book to explore this system further. So what do you think of this profit first mindset? Could it work for you? Share your thoughts and questions down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button to let me know and subscribe to see more content like this in the future. Also, I don't know if I legally have to say this, but I am not a licensed financial advisor and this shouldn't be viewed as financial advice for your specific situation. This is simply, a, it's an illustration of how these principles have played out in my own experience using real life examples. All right, I'll see you in the next one.